What's up YouTube, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we'll talk about how to hand pass, also called overhead passing. And this video was suggested by Narendra Kumar, so thank you so much for this video suggestion. Before you continue watching this video, make sure you watch the following two videos. The first one is the passing fundamentals video, and the second one is the setting fundamentals video. Because much of the information that I'll be talking about in this video will be based on those two videos. And you can click on the links in the video description below or click on the video link up here. First, we'll talk about why people hand pass. There are two major reasons why people choose to hand pass. The first reason is they cannot move back fast enough to use their platform. So instead of getting caught up here on your platform when the ball is moving too quickly, they can just step forward and use their hands. The second reason is some athletes feel like they have better control with their hands, especially on a tough float serve or on a free ball. Now we'll talk about how to hand pass. When you hand pass, it's very important to start in a medium posture that's lower before transitioning into a higher hand pass posture. The reason why is because when you're lower to the ground in medium posture, you can be more mobile and you still have the option to use your platform if the ball drops at the last second. The other reason is power. When you have passing, you want to use your legs for power because oftentimes your elbows and your wrists are not strong enough to push it all the way high enough on top of the setter. The first thing you need to do is move your feet to where you think the ball is going to land in your medium posture. And we talked about the importance of moving to the ball with your hands apart first in medium posture in how to pass a float serve video. And you can watch that video by clicking on the video link in the description below. Once I move my feet to the ball, in medium posture, then I put my hands up in two and two, and then I stand up and I freeze toward where I'm going to be passing. This is what it looks like from the side. Medium posture, move my feet to the ball, two and two, triangle square to the target. The main difference between hand passing and setting is how soft your hands are. When you're overhead passing, the motion will be the same, except my hands are going to be very firm because the ball is going to be coming a lot faster than a pass. And also I can double on the first contact, so I can be really messy and aggressive with the ball as long as the ball goes to the target. The other difference is also my starting position. When I'm setting, I'm starting in a high posture in a neutral position. When I'm hand passing, I actually want to be leaning forward because I only want the ball to be going forward. I don't have to worry about passing behind me. So I should be leaning forward when I'm hand passing and moving into the set that way. Here are a few drills you can do to practice hand passing or overhead passing on a float serve. Medium posture, move my feet to the ball, two and two, triangle square to the target.
Here's a review of the four step process that you can do to practice your overhead passing. The first one is move your feet to the ball with your hands apart first. The second one is get your hands in the two and two position. The third one is to transition from medium to high posture. And the fourth one is freeze to target with a triangle square motion. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other video suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.